KCAL News Mornings at 9 starts right now. This is KCAL News Mornings. Santa Monica College campuses closed today after an employee was shot and seriously injured. Who shot the gun and why? And to reach the all-important block of younger male voters, Vice President Kamala Harris is said to make a surprise appearance on a popular podcast. And some bars and restaurants going through a sad happy hour, so sad hour. <laughs> the owner is blaming Gen Z. Why are they at fault? We'll maybe, take a look. Maybe a bittersweet happy hour. Right? <laughs> a little sad, a little happy. Well, bittersweet. We'll dive into all of it. All <laughs> the feelings. We'll have all the feelings. Uh, and here's a live look at Santa Monica and the Santa Monica Pier. The only bright light out there right now is the Ferris wheel. Yeah. We hope you're having a good morning watching KCAL News Mornings at 9. Today is Tuesday, October 15th. I'm Jamie Yukis. I'm Christine Lazar in for Ruta Shabazi. Thank you for joining us this morning. We're in Marina Jurica and Kalina Strinos here Hi. to bring you your next weather and traffic. And I feel like the weather is kind of bittersweet. I on know. the one hand, I miss the sun a little bit. But on the other hand, I'm welcoming these temperatures because it feels like fall. <laughs> Everybody is so hard to please. It's like in June, <laughs> complaining about it because it's so gloomy and then July and August I'm too hot. Uh, <laughs> because you will never please everyone and well, everybody wants to tell you what they think of the weather. So let's let's get the next 24 hours everyone will have something they want. There you oh, go. Perfect. It just won't be consistent for the Love entire that. day but so hey bring layers. at some point everyone will see what they want. So there you go. As we take a look at a gloomy downtown LA as well it feels uh, spooky like it should in October and we're looking at temperatures in the low 60s and we are going to continue to see that fog actually get thicker and move in deeper as we head into Wednesday and Thursday with an area of low pressure that we're tracking for our next weather forecast for you as we push into the rest of your work week. But for right now, trouble spots for the... Visibility is the Inland Empire that's been all morning at about one to two miles. And then also now we've got another spike here in Simi Valley up into Santa Clarita and into parts of Burbank. But everyone else pretty much at that four to six mile range that will deepen over the next 48 hours because of that area of low pressure that's rolling right on into our forecast as we head into the middle of the week. But for now, temperatures aren't bad. We've got 60s along the coast. We've got a lot of 50s as well out there where it's clearer, it's cooler. I explained that to you in the last hour. And that will be the case uh, for everybody as we head into this morning. Sunshine will roll in by about noon for the LA and OC Metro, probably 2 p.m. for the beaches. So that's why we're in the upper 60s and low 70s. We'll get those 80s rocking in here for the valleys and Inland Empire because you guys will be clear probably in about an hour or two. And then high desert, upper 80s, mountains in the mid 70s. So we are tracking changes in our next weather forecast. I'll let you know where those showers are going to push in as well as as how cold those temperatures are going to get. So stay tuned, Kalina. All right, let's take you out to Orange County right now. We have another Sigler at 55 South before Chapman. Three right lanes are blocked off because of a crash. That backup is building off the 91. We also have a crash on the northbound 5 at Culver Drive. The left lane is blocked off there. Then in the LA area, we still have this Sigler. It's a deadly crash on the northbound 101 at Vermont Avenue. An investigation is currently happening right now. Two left lanes are blocked off. That backup is building away from downtown. It stays so to the incident. You get a little break and then you slow down again once you hit Studio City. Southbound traffic continues out of Hollywood into downtown as well. This is a live look at the 405. We have about an hour drive there from Roscoe to Sunset and the police activity continues here. Our Tina Patel will have an update in just a bit, but northbound 15 at the 138. Only the right lane is open. This backup is now a three hour and 28 minute commute between Sierra Avenue to the 138. So if you can work from home, I suggest you do that or you have to give yourself about a two and a half hour head start. Ladies, back to you. Now you can get your KCAL News weather and live stream all in one place on the CBS News app. Download it free today.